uh, without getting any delay, uh, we'll start. And the very first question is, uh, we would like to know uh, how did your journey look like uh, when you started as an engineer and uh, could you give us any hints or uh, tips? Um, oh, when I started, so <clears throat> I actually, originally actually, I didn't choose to be a civil engineer. Uh, my first choice when I was uh, doing my university was computer engineering. Um, but um, uh, the civil engineering field attracted me um, because it, you will be able to, how to say this, to, to create things, you know, or build things. And so so, so that, that basically attracted me um, to the civil engineering profession. Um, I passed my civil engineering license exam uh, before my 21st birthday. Uh, back then, um, when I graduated, um, I, I more or less I know that I will become. Um, I'm leaning toward uh, a consultant um, a role um, instead of a contractor. Um, I'm more interested in structural design um, and transport engineering, um, uh, more specifically. So designing airports, roads, you know, um, how, rail and then uh, uh, port engineering. That is my uh, main interest uh, when, I, when I graduated. So I pursue those interests. Um, when I say pursue is um, I basically apply for a job that is aligned to, to structural and then to transport engineering so that, so that I can show my, my strength and interest. You know? um, so for me, if you ask me for tips, um, uh, early on, um, even before you graduate, um, it is a must that you know uh, what you want to do in life and align your your uh, job hunting, you know, and your specialization um, instead of uh, wandering around and job hopping, you know, with no focus um, in, in in your in your professional life. So you must start with uh, with with a path that you are keen to to do. Um, so that's that's my that's my hint. Yeah, my tip basically. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, that was great. And uh, this the next question is, uh, according to you, what is that one skill or technology that one must know uh, to enter this field for someone who is interested to get into this field? Um, okay, so I understand the question. Uh, one skill for, for me, you know, um, I have to adapt and learn quickly. Um, not all of the things that you, can, that you can learn from university is applicable in the real world, especially if you are starting your career. So for my case, um, uh, when I say learn quickly is uh, I read a lot of books. Um, a lot of technical papers, and, and I remember uh, my first salary uh, I spent <laughs> registering for a seminar, um, and then I go to that particular seminar with nothing on nothing on my wallet, so because I spent uh, registering for that seminar. So I attended a lot of seminars and conferences when I was a, a young practicing civil engineer, because uh, for me, uh, education doesn't end in the university. Um, so, so I, I, as I said before, right? I need to, I want to specialize. Um, so, so I focus all my attention into uh, learning as much as I can, uh, adapting to the to the to the job to the job scope, and um, quickly quickly learn new things. That's that's the the key you know, uh, skill I think that you need to do. My next question is, what is that uh, one project which you worked on and you are really proud of and as in you could tell uh, the challenges that you had to face and the learnings you took from that project? Okay, um, one of the interesting projects that I was uh, part of was the uh, Changi Airport Terminal 3. Um, at the time, I was a junior structural engineer and at the same time, I was a site engineer. I joined the project when it was nearing completion already, actually, uh, but it gave me an ample opportunity to study the different system uh, of an airport. Yeah, it was my first airport project, and it's pretty big. Um, and I 
appreciate the multidiscipline collaboration um, because there's a lot of disciplines involved. There's mechanical, electrical, um, transport systems, and so on. Um, I learned how to manage a client expectation uh, because we were dealing with uh, uh, an authority in Singapore um, and, and implementing what I learned. Um, so basically, um, when, when I learned something when I was working with Changi Terminal 3, I managed to um, use that learning to other airport projects that I was assigned, like uh, two domestic airports in Vietnam, uh, one international airport in Myanmar, and another international airport in Pakistan. Yeah. So, so every time, you know, so every time I, I depart or I land um, in the airport, in the terminal, the airport terminal that I uh, helped to construct, I'm very proud of it. And I always call it my baby, you know. So, so that's 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 the baby that I spent four years um, of my life, you know, uh, designing and supervising the construction. So it's very very fulfilling.